All right, today we're headed over to Speedway, Indiana. I'm gonna show you some properties over there so that way you get a great idea of what properties are like, where they're located in the Speedway area. And so that way you know that, hey, I'm interested in doing an investment property with an Airbnb or possibly purchasing a home just for you. So because you're a huge race fan and you wanna be close to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. So I'm gonna be showing you a few properties. We got a Craftsman, a bungalow, and some ranch properties. I'm gonna show you the geographical area. We're gonna talk about the advantages of being in those different areas. And all these properties are gonna be associated with the Speedway School District you need to really pay attention to that because if you were thinking about your children going to the Speedway School District, Speedway does not have a transportation system, a bus system. So your child over there will be either walking, biking, or it'll be a car rider. It, they, they will be a car rider. So it's something you really need to pay attention to. So let's head on over to Speedway Main Street. Here we are, we're on Main Street right now and we're walking down the wide sidewalks or right over here by Dawson's. Last night, my son and I went over here and ate about, well, we got here at 9.45 and it was like, hey, you guys still serving? They said, we're serving till 10. So we sat out on the patio, right? It was so quiet down here, guys, so quiet down here. And that's the advantage of living in this area is it is so quiet you don't have to worry about any kind of noise you know they say that this area is for older people well i was just walking over down here sidewalks are nice and wide and also as you can see right here there is a bike path it's a two-lane bike path that if you're a cyclist you can connect to the bno had to make sure there's no cyclists coming through here you can actually connect to the bno trail system that speedway trails has now i'm going to talk about that and i'm going to show you a little bit about that because it runs all the way over to michigan street where it connects to the indianapolis greenway cultural trail and that would connect to the monon and you can actually take that all the way up into westfield if you were an adventuresome cyclist now that is going east but if you're to go west it ends at eagle creek and there are plans, way I understand, to connect it with a bridge across Eagle Creek, go underneath 465, and then it'll connect to the B&O trail system out there in Hendricks County. A lot of activity over here at the Spark Coffee House right there. You know, guys, it's a Saturday right now, and there's a lot of people out walking around this area over here had people doing yoga before so speedway main street is a great area if you just want to get out you know you don't have to be a racing enthusiast to live here but i'm going to go show you some properties that are in this area and like i talked about i'm going to talk about the good and why do we live in this area oh right here two bedroom two bath condos they i believe went for sale initially about 320. so great area right there as you can see they have balconies so this is speedway main street let's head on over to the first property of five that i'm going to show you this property is within five minutes of Big Woods Brewery. All right, we're crossing over here at Speedway Main Street. Like I just said, talking about the coffee house right here. And uh, like I said, it's a great area. Show you over here behind me. You got homes over in this area within minutes. And this is the historic area of downtown Speedway or Speedway, the town of Speedway. So if you still want to come out here and just sit, read a book, drink your coffee you can still do that in this area let me see i'm looking for a place you can park your bikes there's really no bike racks oh hey wait that vehicle there is a bike rack right there where you can chain up your bikes and walk around down here on speedway main street all right i'm hearing some music right behind me you've got la peep in that new area i was just talking about where the condos are 
walk over here and see what's going on at the spark looks like and it sounds like they got some music going on you know it's a saturday morning and there's so much activity out here you would think that there's a race or something going on but there's not we've already had the indianapolis motor speedway uh indy 500 we've already had the Brickyard 400, which is now back on the Oval. Here's a restaurant right behind me, which is the Barbecue and Bourbon. If you like barbecue, that's a great place to go. You got some, an older couple out just taking a stroll. And right back here is where they make all the great barbecue for barbecue and bourbon. Got a real quick question for you. How you doing? Hi, how are you? How much meat do you think you make a day? We we'll probably we we'll probably smoke at least two to three hundred pounds of meat, probably closer to four, depending if you throw ribs on and chicken. Two to three hundred pounds, yeah. possibly four hundred. Yeah, probably closer to four hundred, honestly, on a full day. That's amazing. This place is good. Yeah. You guys got to come here and try it. So this is where all the secret happenings the cook and all that gets done all right buddy thank you i appreciate no you All right, the first property we got is over on Ford Street. It's 185,000. It is a bungalow. It is a one bedroom, one bath. We're only at 661 square feet. I'm gonna show you that here in a second, but you can see right here next to it, a beautifully redone property. It's amazing. It's brought up to date, looks really good. So that just shows the potential of this property right here. Okay, this property right here is on a corner. It's a bungalow, like I said, at 185,000, one bedroom, one bath. Right across from Allison Transmission. Got a stoplight here, and just right around the corner is a the tomato fruit stand walking distance. Now this property here, within walking distance, of Main Street. You can actually be down on Main Street within four to five minutes of walk and head over to Big Wigs Brewery. Go over there and grab you some pizza or a sandwich or something like that. This is a fantastic area right here in basically old historic speedway. Just a few minutes, like I said, walking distance west of Main Street Speedway. There are plenty of benches out here where you can come down here and just sit, relax, as you can see one right there. We have over here, Charlie Brown's. It's a pancake and steakhouse where it's very popular. As you can see, all the cars over here and uh, people really enjoy going in here. Now, if you take a look over here, you can see, there goes the Speedway Police Department. You always, they have a presence in this area, so nobody's gonna come around here and F-A-F-O and uh, so they're always driving the area. They're staged in the area. They have a great police presence. They have their own police force here in Speedway. So let's get back to, here's the B&O Trail. It actually, you could probably, I don't know if you could see it or not, downtown Indianapolis skyline. So we are approximately four and a half miles west of downtown Indianapolis where you could actually ride your bike all the way into downtown along this trail system. Let's take a walk over here. I don't know if you can see it right there. It says B&O. Right down through here. So there's an alley system as well for a lot of these properties over here in the historic area. So that way you can have the drive right into your garage. A lot of these properties have garages in the rear. This 
will connect, like I said, eventually into Hendricks County. But the great thing is, is you could ride all the way down this and all the way into Indianapolis if you would like. Just, it's so quiet down through here, even though there's a lot of cars and traffic, it's just quiet and it's peaceful. Here's the trail system right here. I don't know if you can actually see, you've got a couple walkers right there. You have some runners coming down this way. There's some parking down through here where you can park if you would like. Like I said, this is access to the rear of these properties here and it connects right up here in Auburn. So it's a great area, very peaceful. If you'd like to jump on this B&O trail system, plenty of parking. That's one thing you gotta be aware of when you're looking at properties here in the historic area especially if they have rear garages off the alley system that there's limited parking in front it's usually on one side of the street and not the other and during race times it's very limited parking you usually can't park in that area so here we got a couple walkers coming or runners coming right now so it's a good good great area if you want to jump on a trail all right, I just came across a property that I didn't know about, but it's already pending anyway. So it's on 13th Street, $260,000. So it's probably a two bedroom, one bath. I'm assuming because it's what a lot of these bungalows through here are. Right here is one of the schools. Let me see here. I think this one here is the middle school. Yep, this one here is the middle school. Once again, there is no bus system. Your children will be walkers or riders or bicyclists. Okay, we're at our second property over here. These properties over here are more of a craftsman style. We're just north of 16th Street, west of Main Street area. So this property over here that I'm going to be showing you is, it was built in 1924. It is a two bedroom, one and a half bath and currently listed for 250,000. Look how cute these properties are. These are amazing. So here's the property right behind me over here that's currently for sale. And if you're interested in some kind of craftsman style property, we have those over here in Speedway's area. Just very cute, very clean quiet let me spin around here i mean you got garage door open garage doors are open there's some cars that are leaving their windows down so they feel pretty safe as far as you know leaving their properties open so this is this is an area for you this could be something now this you are about nine ten minutes to main street speedway if you want to walk and you're probably about the same to the B&O trail system if you want to jump on that with your bikes. The uh, actual speedway is right down here at the end of 16th Street and Main Street, right across, so you could actually walk to the track. So a property over here, you could do an Airbnb, or if you really enjoy racing, might as well live here yourself, right? We got some activities going over here. Don't know what's going on, but you know, there's, there's young teens out here just enjoying life, feeling secure in this area. All right, now we are at our third property. We we're just west. You can probably see the Indianapolis Motor Speedway directly behind me. So it's a direct shot into the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Right around the corner, we're just actually north of Crawfordsville Road right around the corner here we have our third property it is a two bedroom one bath and it built in 1943 for 217,000. so i'll give you a quick glimpse so that way you can actually get an idea of what this area over here is like this is a another little bungalow show you that here real quick as we walk by So that way you can, 
If that's something that you're interested in, oh, right down here, right at the very end of the street is the elementary school. Okay, so there's another elementary, there's an elementary school there that they would walk to, your children would walk to if you're interested in living in this area. Very quiet. Like I said, just north of Crawfordsville Road, west of Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Very quiet. Now, that does change during race time. Where there is a ton more people out walking, especially the Indy 500. So many people out walking because it tracks 300 to 350,000 people to watch that race. So that's one of the things that the locals tell me that they try to stay away from the race. They've been there, they've done it, but then they're ones that are diehard and that's why they live here. So off to our fourth property here in Speedway. Oh, probably, I forgot to mention that all these properties here that I've mentioned, probably about a 10 to 12 minute drive to grocery stores and shopping. There's a Kroger right down the street. You have restaurants down the street as well. All the restaurants that are on Main Street. You just jump on Crawfordsville Road, head west, gas stations, car washes, fast food, like I said just there is stuff really close and then you can also jump on 465 head south you could be down into uh, greenwood you could head out west go on 36 you could be out in avon head north you could go to brownsburg or on around to carmel real close to eagle creek as well if you like the park it's one of our nicest parks in the area so much to do around this area great centrally located uh, speedway like I said, Speedway, Indiana. If you're thinking about it, it might be something to really look into. Now, the area I'm taking you to is closer to the track. These homes were built in the 1950s and 60s. We're just still west of the track, just minutes away. But this gives you a good idea of what these properties are like. All brick ranches. Some have basements, some don't. You know, if you want a basement, definitely have to look into specifics. So I'm gonna, we're just right around the corner. I'm gonna show you this property down here. Directly behind me is the property that is the closest to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway because we are just right around the corner here. This is a three bedroom, one and a half bath. I have to double check on that. Three bedroom, one and a half bath, 1500 square feet and it is for 285,000. No basement on that. If it had a basement, I personally would be all over that. Now, the house that's directly behind that property, the day before the Brickyard 400, or the night before, that was definitely a party area. Well, I ain't telling my cold heart. And that's what happens all down through here. A lot of the fan or a lot of the homeowners down through here enjoy living here because of the race. They enjoy the fans coming in. And a lot of these homes through here actually park cars to make some extra income. I do know a homeowner that will park, you know, 20 cars and charge them 50, 60 bucks each time. You know, that stuff adds up. So it's an extra way to generate a little bit of income. Right here at the end of the street is one of the largest Coke, not Coke, but Indianapolis Motor Speedway parking lot. We're almost there. But still, as you can see, these great properties here, full brick. That one back there was built in 1960. The thing about a lot of these properties, you can see the backyards are not that large. Here's a property right here, backyard, not that large. So if you have dogs, you know, keep that in mind. But if you don't care and you're really not interested in cutting grass, there it is. 
Indianapolis Motor Speedway. This property right here has a great view of the pagoda. This is the, the straight. Right here is the start finish line. Here is the parking area for the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Here's another home right here. You can see directly out your window as far as a great view. So like I said, this is the closest property of the five that I'm featuring. And this is a very popular area. This is a party area, whether it is for races or professional football games. I understand there's a group of houses around here. They all get together and tailgate by having cookouts for the Colts games. So this is a, a community, the way I understand, that really enjoys each other. You know, and they have a good time. Now, you are still probably about 12 minutes to grocery. Now, you're further away from Main Street, where you can still ride your bike, walk. And also, I do have a video that talks about Speedway has an actual planning committee, and they are thinking about allowing golf carts in this area. So, hopefully that grows through crossing fingers right it's a great tri-level right there I grew up in a tri-level so I like those all right our next property we're going to be talking about is over in the Metalwood subdivision and it's right across from the Metalwood Park where they have baseball diamonds we've got walking trails picnic benches just uh a great way to hang out there's some people that are already taking advantage of this area right back here is another elementary school now the advantage of living over here one you're close to the park two you're close to the interstate three you're away from the traffic of downtown speedway and those areas because of the indianapolis motor speedway you still have access you can still walk to that track you're you're about two and a half to two and three quarter mile away from that you can actually walk down to main street speedway if you want but i would suggest biking so let's go over here i can smell somebody grilling out oh that smells so good now one thing that speedway is doing in a lot of their sections that have sidewalks is they're actually you can see behind me that they're rebuilding the sidewalks. So the property that we are going to go see, our last property is a five bedroom, three bath, three, oh, just th over 3,100 square feet. And it was built in 1959 as well. It's a two story. And like I said, there's a lot of advantages to this. If you still want to be in the town of Speedway and the municipality of Speedway without being in downtown Speedway. So as you can see, a lot of these homes, brick construction, updated new roofs, looking good, nice and clean through here. And I'm sure once they get done with doing all these sidewalks and, and the uh, entryway into the driveway, then uh, they'll be working on this side. So here is the property I was referring to, five bedroom, three bath. This one is 368,000 dollars. It is updated on the inside. So we got a price range of what was that? 189,000 all the way up to 268,000, what you can expect in the Speedway area. Now there's currently total of fifth. I'm sorry, total of 13 homes currently for sale in this area. If you are actually looking for a property in this other this area, whether you're looking to buy for yourself or actually use it as an investment, turn it into an Airbnb. I just do want to let you know that there is some legislation that's being passed 
not passed, but it's on the table as far as the Airbnbs in the Marion County area. This is still Marion County. So what they're gonna do is you're gonna to have to register your property as an Airbnb. So it's something that, uh, I don't know if it's gonna be a one-time fee, heard around $150, or it's going to be an actual annual fee. Don't know. So as you can see, really nice properties through here. Now this being a little bit further from the racetrack, I do not know if there'd be as much demand for the Airbnb. Usually the Airbnbs are really close to the track. Because there's so much activities with the track, qualifying, uh, carb day they call it, fast Friday, and uh, practices a lot of people who come to this area actually want to be really close so that way they can just walk instead of park because parking can get expensive around there like i told you you could probably pay 50 60 bucks a day to park that's pretty close to the track i'm getting my steps in too so guys if you're interested in getting more information moving to the metropolitan Indianapolis area, feel free to reach out to me. My name is Devin Hunter. I'm a realtor in the metropolitan Indianapolis area. If you have any questions about the market, certain areas, whatever, feel free to reach out to me. Be glad to help you out. All my contact information is down below. Ah, man, get a little winded. There's a family over there walking right behind me. So, no matter if you're looking to move here in 10 days or 100 days, I'm here to help you make a smooth move transition. Now, if you're anywhere in the metropolitan Indianapolis area and you're thinking about selling, definitely going to help you out as well. So feel free to reach out to me. Be glad to help you out. Got some fuzz on my nose. Look how peaceful it is. Great area to live. I'm going to take you over and I'm going to show you the Speedway High School too. Now it's, oh my gosh, further from, uh, let me see, walking distance. I'm sure if your student was going to the high school, they probably are driving by now. Instead of walking or they have some friends, they could definitely bike. Wintertime might be a little different or when it's raining. So I understand that the park over here, they have some outdoor activities, I think some music, concerts, things like that. Nothing too big, but it's just so peaceful. And right behind me, down the stoplight, on the other side of the stoplight, is Speedway Shopping Center, where you've got the grocery stores and department stores over there. If that's important to you, you can actually walk there or bike. It just goes to show there's always something going on in the Speedway, Indiana area. One of the things I did forget to mention, there is another trail, paved pathway that you can ride from down here Main Street. It runs directly alongside parallel to Crawfordsville Road. So there's so much outdoor activity that you can do here. I don't know what's going on here, but our last stop here is in Speedway. We got the Speedway High School. Speedway has four elementary schools strategically placed because of lack of the bus system, I believe, would make it very easy to walk around and walk to school, walk home from school. Um, when I've been through here before, whenever there has been, you know, the kids going to school, there's always been some kind of crossing guards. They really pay attention to that. Um, a lot of volunteers around here. Speedway High School is a 2A school. They have a great program as far as their sports, academics, scholastics, all that stuff. We've got properties right directly across, as you can see. Now, Speedway High School, as you can see right over here, is the Coca-Cola bottling plant. It's just west of uh, the track, and we're at uh, 25th Street. 
right here, and there's Coca-Cola bottling facility and the Indianapolis Motor Speedway as well. A lot of people park here during the race. And directly behind me as well is the Speedway Public Library. Uh, they have movie nights too. So all the information as far as doing your due diligence is all down inside the description below. There's links to how to research schools. Definitely check out and do your due diligence as far as researching your crime in any area that you move to. I cannot, as a realtor, steer you to or away from an area uh, based on crime. Uh, you have to do your due diligence. Also right behind me next to the public library is a fire department. You can see one of their engines coming right now. Got his lights going. Uh, there's several, several fire departments in this area. So once again, as far as public services, they do a great job. Here it comes. All right. Listen to this, guys. I'm out of here. Have a great day.